So you've done it. You've had your trust drawn up and you've signed it and had your signature notarized. It's on nice paper. You put it in an awesome labeled binder and you put it in your filing cabinet or safety deposit box. You're done, right? Well, almost. At that point, you've only done half the job. The next task is to fund the trust, put assets in it. Until you do so, the trust is empty. And today we're going to talk about what happens if that trust stays empty. Hi, I'm Andrew Bethel and empty trusts are problems us estate planning attorneys are called in to fix more often than we'd like. An empty trust is exactly what it sounds like. It's a trust holding no assets, whether it be real estate or simply cash. A trust is empty until it's funded. Now funding is a topic all on its own, but for today, just know that funding means putting assets in a trust. Oftentimes, when setting up a trust, whether it be with an attorney or from an automated service, you might also sign schedules or assignments wherein you evidence your intent to hold assets in your trust. That's great and all, but it very often is not enough to actually fund a trust. Funding is extremely important because a trust without assets won't be worth the ink or even the paper it's printed on because an empty trust is an invalid trust. A legal requirement for a trust to be valid is that it must hold assets in it. While yes, you can assign personal property to a trust and thus it technically isn't empty, but if your family needs to go in front of a judge to argue your trust was valid because it had your furniture in it, well then they should go in prepared to be disappointed. Especially if there was time, sometimes even as short as a few months, in between you creating the trust and your death. In that case, the judge is going to err on the side of caution and hold absent more information than a schedule saying you intend to hold your real property in trust that there is no way we can divine your intent to hold any particular real property in trust since you took no further actions to fund the trust with real property. The judge will find the trust invalid due to a lack of assets and order your estate to go through probate. Yes, there's that important concept to always avoid, probate. If your trust is empty and you have any real property or assets above the probate threshold combined, not individually, then your estate must go through probate and the trust might have done nothing for you except cost you the expense of paper, ink, and a binder. Yes, if you have a pour over will, your probated assets will go to your trust and then be distributed from there, but then you're out the cost of the probate, watch our video on that, and the nine to 12 months to go through the probate to start before adding on the time to distribute from the trust itself. So how do you avoid the empty trust? Well, as I've mentioned, you fund your trust. And we'll talk about that in more detail for your various types of assets. But in general, real property needs to be transferred to your trust, typically via a recorded deed with a local county recorder. And your bank accounts need to be titled into your trust. This entails walking into the bank with your new trust and having them change the account holder from you or you and a spouse as individuals to you or you and a spouse as trustees of your trust. Finally, you can have the trust listed as a beneficiary on some assets such as life insurance or an IRA. However, doing so does not fund the trust at that moment. The funding occurs after you pass away. Remember, an empty trust does nothing for you. Think of the trust as a car. It won't go on its own. You need to add gas or electricity to the car to make it go. That gas is your assets. Without assets, your trust is an empty car. It costs money for you to get it. It's nice to look at, but it does nothing for you besides take up space in your garage. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out some of our other excellent videos here. But don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and tell us what you'd like for us to cover down in the comments below.